I'm Katie, a Douglas Residential College Peer Academic Leader, and I'm here to give you a video tour of my residence hall, Jameson H. Uh, this is the lounge. It is the common space for all of Jameson H. It's usually very quiet. It's a great study space. We also have lots of events here. The RAs will run things like movie nights, for example. Sorry, guys. This is another communal study space. It's got a whiteboard. It also has an air conditioner and a table for teamwork. There are more study spaces over in there. So as you can see, there's lots of room. Let's go upstairs. Now, the bathrooms are usually pretty empty. There's no to little wait time, and they're always very clean. They're also pretty big. All right, the kitchen is on the third floor in the side that's called H2. You can see this is our fully functional kitchen. You can bake cookies in it if you feel so inclined. This is my room. Due to some differences in the third floor, it is a little bigger than your average Jameson H single and a little smaller than your average Jameson H double. To give you an idea, if it was a little bigger, the bed would be about where that desk is. Uh, although I have an air conditioner, it is important to note that not all rooms in Jameson H do. If you have a medical need, you will certainly get a room with an air conditioner, but otherwise I would suggest that you bring a fan. Three things that I would definitely suggest you bring are a fan, uh, some art to brighten up the walls, and snacks for when the dining hall is closed. Places to eat food are the uh, Douglas Campus Center, which is right across the street. It's got the Douglas Cafe, and it has a pizza place, it has Dunkin' Donuts. There's also the Nelson Dining Hall, which is about a five minute walk across Woodlawn Field. In addition to Jameson H being all women, all of the other Jamesons are also all women. That does not necessarily mean you can't have male guests. It's just that no guest can stay more than three nights in a row. machine there's little to no weight. It's 125 to do a load and you can use your RU Express money so there's no need to worry about quarters. There are also some handy vending machines should you find yourself wanting a snack. The best thing about Jameson H is probably the community. We're all really friendly and supportive. And we're also really quiet, so it's easy to get your studying done. The most challenging thing, I would say, is only having air conditioning in the lounge and in certain rooms. That's pretty hard during early fall and late spring. It's also not the most fun thing in the world to make that trek across the woodlawn in the middle of winter. As far as bus stops go, Jameson H is pretty conveniently located. Red Oak Lane is just a couple minutes walk away at Passion Puddle, and College Hall is about a block down, so it's really easy to get onto and off this campus if you have classes on another campus, as many students do. I chose Jameson H because I was a Douglas Residential College student and an honors program student and Douglas Residential College has a residency requirement. So I picked this door and 
I liked it so much that I've lived here for the past three years.